Your Cleveland Cavaliers are off to an 8-0 start. How about that, guys? This is amazing to see. If you're a Cleveland Cavaliers fan, I don't know how you can't be just ecstatic right now. Thank you guys for tuning on to the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, just very proud of this team, man. Like, so far, it's just been a great start. And, um, you know, I can't say we expected it. No, I mean, I expected this team to be competitive, obviously. It's expected to be better than last year, even. You know, because I had a lot of faith in Coach Atkinson. But I want to talk about him. But regardless, 8-0 is crazy. Um, I mean, a faster pace under Coach Atkinson. I mean, he's just been done a great job getting the most out of everybody. I mean, it's not one player trying to play hero ball or go bonkers. Um, you know, just overall improved accuracy and just a balanced scoreboard and score sheet all across, um, you know, Donovan Mitchell, Darius Garland, the core four, pretty much Evan Mobley, Jared Allen, all of them, even Max Truce when he was healthy, you know, he was getting it going. Um, George Niang had a couple buckets today against the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, so just some great, great scoring all across that lineup, man. I'm very, very proud. And, uh, you just love to see it if you're a fan, man, but just proud of Coach Atkinson. I mean, we haven't lost a game under him, obviously, knock on wood. But, you know, it, it's just something you, you you really feel like it was that the missing piece. I mean, you know, when John Beeline was here, you didn't, you know, he wasn't all that good for us. Um, you know, we felt like, you know, coming from Michigan, he was maybe, he could be an upgrade. But then you look at, you know, even uh, J.B. Vickerstaff. I mean, he he's doing an okay job in Detroit. But, you know, it's still like, you just felt like this, this, this offense could use a, a new fresh face and a you know a fresh leadership. I mean, why, yeah, while we really appreciate you know what JB Bickerstaff did for us, but you know it just feels like Coach Atkinson he's coming with a lot more experience in different offenses, different types of offenses. Um, you know, I think that just suits us better, man. So just love to see it if you're a Cleveland Cavaliers fan. And then, you know, you look at like the the defense has just been on the money. I mean, especially today on Dame Darius Garland did a hell of a job. I mean. Dame still got his. That's just how great he is. He had a three from the logo today. He had a three to go up by three with under, I believe it was under 115 to go. Um, and then Evan Mobley and Jared Allen have been monstrous at the paint. I mean, we went through a little bit of a cold spell in the third quarter. Um, and then, you know, you look at I, <clears throat> Isaiah, I, <clears throat> Isaac Okoro, Karis LeVert. I mean, they've just been, you know, providing some, you know, just some good defense. They've been helping on the perimeter. And Evan Mobley has been an absolute stud. I mean, he had he's struggling from three. I mean, we knew that was a not a concern, but that's one of his like you know gaping parts that he had, he really wants to work on. I mean, he made one his first couple games you know this season, but overall, Isaac Okoro really stepped up. Karis LeVert really you know showed what he could do in the paint the last few games. So you know I'm just very proud. And then, you know obviously Max Truce is out. Um, so you know, these these guys they have to step up, and that's what they're doing, man. So. Uh, great job for the Cleveland Cavs, man. I'm just very proud. Um, a little bit, a little, I was a little bit pissed off because, you know, we look at the core, core four, obviously they're continuing to build chemistry. That's what they're going to do. Um, and I said, you know, Darius Garland, DG played monstrous de defense on Dame today, especially down the stretch. Um, you know, Donnie had a block on Dame, I believe at the rim as well. And, um, you know, you guys know me, I'm big on effort. So yeah, Dame made some of his shots because that's Damian Lillard. He's not going to, you're not going to hold him to that. Um, but you know, the, I'm huge on effort and I've been critical of the Reds and Bengals for, you know, lack of effort in their 2024 season. Um, so, you know, I'm not saying like effort means like you have to win all the time, but it's like, it's refreshing to see, you know, this team is giving everything they have and the team's got, they just have to work on some shot selection in my, in my opinion. Cause I've, like I said, in the third quarter, they weren't like, they had some good looks, don't get me wrong, but it's like. You can bounce it off the backboard. I just felt like they were trying to float it in. I mean, George Niang was trying to float it in. You know, there was a point where Evan Mobley was also trying to float some in. It's just like, you can use the backboard. That's why it's there. I mean, Jared Allen did a great job with it. Jared Allen needs to work on his free throws. That's my biggest takeaway. You know, in practice, he should. that's all he should be doing. So, um, But overall, I mean, we did have a little, like I said, we had a little bit of a cold spell. But, you know, the fact that we recovered really shows, like, how mentally tough this team is. So, just very proud. Like I said, for the millionth time, I'm very proud. Um, so, I'm going to say, though. This team is a title contender. I mean, you look at their balanced offense, balanced scoring across the board, balanced stat sheet, not one person trying to play hero ball. Because I'll take a game, for example. Remember when Dane Lillard dropped, I believe it was 71 points or something. Or maybe it was Donnie, Donovan dropping. <laughs> I, I don't remember. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to go back. But I remember, they. I think they were playing the, uh, yeah, the, when, when we did it, when Donnie did it, they were playing the Bulls. And they, I think they won by a small margin. 
Same with Dame's shot. I mean, they the amount he scored, it was great and all, but it was like the margin of victory just wasn't that big. So, you know, the fact that we have this depth, the fact that we have the talent spread across the board, I think that's just what it's about. And I said, this offense is reminding me of the 2016 Golden State offense in the sense like the ball movement is just constant. You know, Coach Atkinson has been in Golden State, so he's aware of that system as well. He's been in Denver. He's been in Golden State. So he's aware of, you know, what the offense runs like. So I'm just saying that from a talent perspective, of course not. You know, that Golden State team was monstrously talented, obviously. <laughs> but, you know, in terms of, like, just the, the movement, the chemistry, continuing to develop um, for a team that's only played together for a couple years, it's just something that, you know, it's refreshing to see. So I think this team is ready for a deep playoff run. Before the season, I said they were going to make the Eastern Conference Finals. I think they can give the Celtics a run for their money. I'm not saying they're going to definitively win um, because, they're you know, they're right behind us as well. And, you know, we, we'll see them soon down the stretch. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm excited to see, you know, if this team can potentially make a deep playoff run. Obviously, got to focus on the regular season, got to focus on the in-season tournament. Uh, but, you know, I'm still, you know, something that you got to be proud of as a Cavs fan. You know, I, my job is to give you takeaways from what I've seen so far. And, you know, so far, so good. Uh, so, 8-0 and on the season, man. A look ahead, though. Sweeping the Bucks has to be great. Obviously, it's great. You know, one game, yes, today they didn't have Giannis. But, you know, it's still... It's good. When you get a win on their home floor, obviously you know they're going to come out really aggressive on your floor and try to get a win. So the fact that we just stood our ground and um, took one at their place and took one at ours, you know, it just speaks volumes. So some stingy games against the Falcons, you know, they're obviously, I think they're three and four in the season. So they're also, they're still not, they're still not to be messed with. And then obviously Golden State, I think they've lost one game this year and they're up, I think. Um, I forgot who they're playing, but you know, they're up by, they're, all, they're also, they have a single loss. So you know, it's going to be a tough one, and Cavs-Warriors, obviously, you know, the history there. That's always a fun game. Um, so, you know, we'll just see what what happens, man. But right now, can't don't have anything to say other than I'm just proud of this team, man. Just got to keep it going. Got to still – the important thing I got to say, learn from your mistakes. It's not like you win and then you can just forget everything and throw the tape under the bus. You got to still correct what they did wrong. You know, address what, what happened in the third quarter that maybe caused the cold spell. And, you know, we'll just go from there. But 8-0 on the season, guys. Cavs are 8-0. Let's go, man. Let them know. Let's go. Freaking let's just continue this down the stretch, man. Let's win both these games and get to 10-0. How about that? I mean, let, let's go one game at a time, obviously. But just keep it going, man. Love to see it. You guys have a good one, and I am gone. Go Cavs!